to repeat as King of the Ring. He could have a potentially four-match night, three at King of the Ring, and also one-on-one -on -one against David Lord, Mann. Hunter's to schedule for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ando, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 248 pounds, the lethal weapon, Steve Blickman. First of all, Adrian, if Angle does make it to the semifinals, because that's almost going to happen in King of the Ring, semifinals and finals, and he made it to the finals, that would only be one, two, three matches. But it is a good point. I'm glad that you corrected me. Oh, well, you know me. I'm here for you. Yeah. I'm here. Hey, lean on me. <laughs> Yo, you did. Please. We heard you sing last week in Miami. I tore the house down, did I not? I mean, everybody was intoxicated, but... What are and weighing in at 228 <laughs> pounds, background. he's a member of X Factor, just incredible. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Of the four people that have advanced so far, do you see any of them being the king of the ring, <laughs> including Kurt Angle? Well, obviously you'd have to say Kurt Angle would be the favorite since right. he won last year. He's a former WWE champion. Right. But we've seen Jeff Hardy have tremendous matches against the best. How about Triple H game? You know, a few weeks back. We know Jeff Hardy can hang. He won the light heavyweight title this week. Exactly. He defeated yeah. his brother. Tremendous matchup in the King of the Ring qualifier. And, and Edge, the seven-time tag team champion. You know, Jerry Lynn had been undefeated up until that point when uh, Jeff Hardy beat him this past week on SmackDown. But so, what about Ryan? You know, he's the, I hate, I don't want to say the X Factor, but he is the X Factor in all this. I mean, here's a guy relatively new on the scene, and you're talking about an absolute bull. You know, when he gores somebody, it's all over. Forget about it. Oh, you know, even the way that Rhino comes to the ring, it's, it's like he's late for dinner. He's just hungry. Exactly. Oh, big shot by Steve Blackman in a second. Just Incredible has a whole lot on his plate here on Heat. I'll tell you what. Just Incredible, X-Pac, and Albert. What a number Albert did. He pumped Kane out. Well, I can't argue with that. Kane going one-on-one -on, -one on SmackDown with X-Pac. And although getting the victory, Kane certainly got the worst for wear as Albert gave the big red machine a huge ball to bomb. I mean, it seems like every time we see Albert, he gets bigger, he gets better, he gets stronger. Oh, big! Wow! Steve Blackman, and that was just incredible to the barricades below. You know, the whole dressing room was a buzz after Albert did that to Kane. Oh. But I just wonder. If Kane's the kind of guy, and who knows what makes Kane tick, who knows what motivates Kane, I wonder if that didn't make Kane feel good like Ooh. Oh! Ooh, somebody that was surprised. You know, you make a very, very good point. If I'm Albert, obviously Albert's not going to back away. No. But I don't want to make Kane mad. I don't want to make the likes of The Undertaker mad. You're talking about some big boys who are mean. And speaking of The Undertaker mean and emotional and don't want to make him mad, you know, wait a second, here's a cover, hook of the leg, two, and a kick out by Justin Credham. Coach, I let the curtain roll up on anything except what is happening to The Undertaker. The Undertaker and oh! nice Bulldog by Justin Credible. Cover, cover. Oh, here's a cover, hook of the leg, may have waited a little bit too long, and he did. Steve Blackman gets the kick out. The Undertaker is absolutely an emotional wreck. I've never seen The Undertaker like he is. Wanting to blame somebody, wanting to find somebody, blames JR. Takes out Paul Heyman, goes to Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon says, No, it's my son Shane. Then on SmackDown, takes out Shane. And, and it wasn't even, oh, here's number two. He, he doesn't even know who to blame. He just wants to blame somebody. He, he is so, so out there. I don't know the words to describe what The Undertaker is feeling right now. Well, I don't either. And, and my only assessment of the situation would be that. I'm sure The Undertaker wants to find out the broker, wants to resolve the situation as quick as possible. But you can see the desperation. Oh, nice flip by Steve Blackman, too. And another rollout by Justin Credible following up with a big clothesline. You can see the desperation in The Undertaker's face after Kane told him, no, it's not Shane McMahon. And I feel for The Undertaker. I really do, too. I, 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 I think he honestly felt bad for taking out Shane McMahon when it really wasn't Shane. You know, Shane was looking for The Undertaker. Right. You know, why would he do that if he actually was doing that? Oh! Undertaker's wife does look good. I can't argue with that, yeah. He, uh, he did well for himself, that's for sure. But it's a you. But it's not me. I got plenty. The world over. I don't need to stop. 
you got to take that base at your door. Oh, now both men up. Steve Blackman, big right hands, is just incredible. Oh, my goodness, he's so quick, quick as a cat, is Steve Blackman. Yep, and oozing with personality. Yeah, he is. Oh, saving the oh, big shot. To the throw is just incredible. And he says it's party time. Oh, nice belly to belly. Here's the cover, hook of the leg, too. Oh, and just nearly a three count. This crowd wanted it in the worst way. And Blackman now getting frustrated. He cannot put just incredible away. You got to give it to Justin. Oh, wait a second. Referee Jimmy Cordero. Oh, good night. That's it. That's got to be it. Cover, hook of the leg, too. And somehow, Steve Blackman kicks out. Blackman has so much resiliency. Now just incredible. Oh, that's it. Pump kick. Oh, my goodness. What a pump kick by Steve Blackman. And just like that, comes back. Big win. Here is your winner, and the lethal weapon is Steve Blackman. Hey, Coach. What? Play the stock market. Uh, a little bit. And are you any good? Okay. Well, I'll tell you somebody that's real good. This man, Bradshaw.